Hey folks, and welcome back to the mountain. I'm Tony from Gagnon's Mountain Homestead. Today we got my buddy Dave. Hey, I'm Dave. You may remember him. <laughs> you may remember Dave from such videos as How to Catch a Chicken. Yes. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're processing more bunnies today. Turning them into rabbits. Right. In the hutch, in the bunker, they're bunnies. In the freezer, they're rabbits. Yum. So we're going to take care of that today. Here we go. You on? Okay. So we've tried a bunch of different methods and uh, we tried the uh, broomstick method. We didn't really didn't care for that too much because um, you get that five to 10 seconds of trying to put the bunny on the floor and it just freaks them out. It really stresses them. Um, the captive bolt, our captive bolt wasn't quite long enough. Um, it did stun them right away, but didn't kill them right away. So they didn't really feel any pain, but it didn't really kill them right away. We found that the choke chain works really well for us. Um, it's just really good for the bunny. Well, it's not good for the bunny, but you know. No, it is, it's fast. it's fast. It's fast. So I'm holding the bunny the whole time, as you can see. You can keep filming this one. I'm holding the bunny the whole full time. We just put it around his neck. I'm gonna thank Mr. Bunny for feeding me and my family and for your sacrifice. I thank God for allowing us to have you and for you to take care of my family. Amen. And that's all there is to it. Bunny's this way. There we go. gone. His head's flopping. What am I doing this for? You should be doing all this. Hey, up. Ears? Oh, thank you. He is dead. Yeah. You can t if, if you feel his neck, mm -hmm. feel right there, oh, there there's no bone left connecting. No, ears first. <laughs> Just like me, forget the ears. Ears go in the pretzel rod bucket. <laughs> Puppies love rabbit ears. Now we decapitate. Yeah, there will be blood. Take his feet off her. Yep. So right at the joint. Right. What I feel feel where the joint is yep. right there. Feel it. Mm -hmm. Just just kind of cut across there real quick. Just lightly, just through the skin. Okay. Okay. And kind of just break his wrist. And now finish cutting through the skin. And then that goes in there. Yep. And feel how it sees smooth instead of sharp. Yeah. Bone. That's all we're doing. Just a Break his there. wrist. They see where it, yeah. yeah. So now you have smooth bone. So when you put it in a plastic bag and you shrink it, it doesn't the bone doesn't poke through the bag. You gotta sharpen a knife? Yep. Want it sharpened? Yeah. Alright. I've talked about this Smith sharpener. It was on Amazon for like 10 bucks. It's like one of the best things. It's all it takes. So, go up here. Okay, right, and we're just doing skin. Right. Be careful not to cut the tendon in the back. Okay. Because it'll just start flopping. These are young enough that the skin's very thin. Yeah. <laughs> They're thin skinned. So this is my first time doing this. <laughs> I can do Tony is wicked proficient. It's only my second time. I know. Yeah, you Here. got practice. Okay. A lot of times it's easier. Yeah. I didn't show you this part because the skin was thin right. than mine. If you come up here, just kind of put your, kind of just slice the skin a oh, little bit that way. Yeah. Just the skin though, try not to get the meat. Mm -hmm. And then you can take that where you cut it and it'll just rip down. See? Yeah. 
So what I did, I just made a little slice up here and then I pulled it and ripped it down. Yeah, that'll take his pants off. For people that have never done this, the surprising part to me, and it surprised me with the chickens as well, because, I mean, I've, I, I've handled meat from the store all the time, and the surprising part of this, because you don't think about it, is how warm. It's very warm. How warm the meat is. Okay, you don't want to get, yeah. yeah. Just, it's, it just surprises you when you're not thinking about it, how warm it is. There you go. Here. Wow. You may have to cut that. Yeah. Now, if this bunny was like six or eight months old, we wouldn't be able to rip the skin like this. I mean, it would, it would still rip. It'd just be a lot harder to do. There'd be a lot more cutting involved. This a, is crazy. A lot of people will dip the whole rabbit in water before they start this just to keep the fur from coming off. If you feel you have to cut, cut. You know? The only thing you don't want to do is cut into the cavity and no. pop a bladder. Nope. I don't want to pop a bladder. Or rip it like I did the last one. <laughs> so there we go. He was holding. All right, you want to be careful pulling that down because it could rip like mine did. Yeah, I'm just trying to get that to separate. Yep. Yeah. Cut up. Yeah, up. There you go. Now that should just pull down. But be careful. The, yeah. You might, you yeah. may want to cut that. See? Yeah. Cut this right there. Okay, now let's work on the back and then we'll do the front. Okay. That should pop up. Like that. There you go. There we go. Okay. You're going to get underneath yep. and then. Underneath the tail. And yep. Then pull down, back, and cut. Worst case that happens is you get a little, little oh, yeah. couple rabbit pellets on you. That's fine. Grab hold of the skin. Yeah. Grab hold of it all. Yeah. Nope. I mean, really grab hold of it. Mm -hmm. You want to pull that down like that. Grab that tail like that. Yeah. And then cut up. There you go. Just like that. There. Now you can take your sweater off. Oh, hang on. Let me look at this front. I'm, I'm... There you go. Okay, take your sweater off. That's it. That's it. All right. So then we... Well, I pinch here. Oh, yeah, we gotta take that. Cut that off. This is fat. So pinch and cut there, just don't cut the bladder. Nope. I'm gonna open that up. Yep. Hi D, I bet you're watching. <laughs> yeah, she's like, why is it taking you so long? Hurry up. Oh there it is. There it is. Well, first thing you want to do is get that bladder out of there. Yeah. Pinch it up as high as you can. Mm -hmm. Pull it. You want high. Get it up as high as you can. Okay. It's so hard for me not to reach in there. Oh, no, I know. Okay. <laughs> Throw it in the bucket. Now you're going to open them up. Just like any other critter. Okay. Now what I do is I come up here. And I cut on the V's. Mm -hmm. Just right, they, yeah, that's fine. Just, nope, 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 closer, right in there. 
right there. There you go, and the other side. Okay, we'll kind of break that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now you can reach in and grab stuff, like the colon, pull that out. That's it, that's the colon. Uh, oh, you missed it. Missed. Oh, gonna have to get it. Oh, how do we get that out? Oh. <laughs> that's how. There it is. <laughs> the bunny's been violated. <laughs> Liver. All right. Liver we're going to keep. Well, right, yeah, all get all the guts out. There you go. Get the rest of the colon, the intestines and everything out first. Tummy. That should just pull. There you go. Yeah, stomach, you just pull that out. Just pull it. Just pull it. Liver, just grab it. All now right. look for that gallbladder. Right there it there. is. So we're gonna pinch that small. Onion. Yep, pinch that little tube there. Pull it off. Dude, why do I get the hard rabbit? <laughs> Your rabbits were way easier. <laughs> okay, that goes in the in the doggy bucket. Blop. Them kidneys, pop them out of there. One. Take some of that fat with them too. We yeah. don't. Two. Grab that fat out of there. What do you think, D? Tasty? Um. Yeah. Dave's yeah. gonna cook this one up for you. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Right. Now. Now we got a diaphragm. Yep. Break through the break or cut through the diaphragm. The heart and the lungs. Throw it right in the doggy bucket. That's what, three? Yes. Three, uh, three out of nine? That's going pretty good. Yeah. Heart? Have a heart. No, that's long. There's a heart. So that's all long. Not coming out. <laughs> That's okay. No, it's not. All right, push. Then what I do is I take a finger and I push through down through the. Just cut that out of there. So weird. Why do I get the hardest bunny? There's always got to be one. <laughs> all right. Okay. Considering this is the first. Yeah. And then take your finger right down the front there, push it all the way through, and get the esophagus out. Okay. Is it out? I think. A lot of this stuff, this is from, that's yeah. damage from the choke chain. Yeah. There's not much you can do about that. No. So. Yeah, I think it's all right. Okay, now, the final thing, we're gonna break these joints and cut them just like we did the front one. Yeah. Okay. So, you see the joint right there? Yep. Just cut through that. There's one. <laughs> and then he goes right in the bucket with his with his siblings. So folks, that's how we're doing rabbits. We got three done. We got six more to go. So uh, we're gonna catch up to you in a little bit. Yeah. All right, folks. So we're done. We got nine rabbits processed. They're in here. They're all having a nice cool bath there. We're gonna leave them in there for a couple days. Let some of the blood, as you can see, there's plenty of blood in the water now, but more blood will come out of them and uh, we'll get past rigor so the meat will be nice and tender, then we'll bag them and freeze them. We'll probably show you that one too. So that's about it. What'd you think your first time processing rabbit, Steve? It was fun. We had some experiences which are not on camera that we're not just not going <laughs> to talk about, but it was interesting. <laughs> yeah, so. Good times. <laughs> You gotta have fun in They're life. Straight. Gotta yep. have fun. Even processing rabbits can be While fun. While taking life. While yes. taking life. But it's to help support life. Indeed. So 
once again, this is where our food comes from. So if you don't like this, I'm sorry, but mm. this is what our food comes from. This is we're, we're doing this to be healthier and to be more self-sufficient, which y'all should be doing too. Mm. So that's going to be it from the day from the mountain. You know what to do with the video. Share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Tell your friends and neighbors about us. And as always, from the mountain, God bless. God bless.